Hey guys, it's John from John's Rolling Life Vlog. Um, I thought I would jump on here today in a hot summer uh, afternoon and uh, do a quick review of the Queen's Gambit Netflix series and just kind of differences between the series and the book and what I liked and what I didn't. So I grabbed myself a nice beverage here and uh, I'm all freshly shaven and clean. Uh, I know I look like a mole rat uh, uh, right now, but um, it's hot here in Texas, so, uh, that's why I shaved, and it'll grow back soon, I promise. Uh, growing facial hair is one of my deepest and, uh, most coveted talents. Um, so, let's get to the series. Uh, two major areas of pros and cons. One, I love, um, one obviously in pro, and the other being con. Pros, um, I thought it softened the edge between her and her mother, Beth, and, uh, her mother, um, because in the book, when her mother passes, she doesn't really know how to react, she doesn't feel anything, she's sort of numb, um, but in the series, it's, they have a very warm relationship, um, as the series go on, goes on, very encouraging, uh, relationship, and when her mother passes, she really hits her, and she's closer to her in their relationship, and I thought it did the, it did the Netflix series well to kind of soften that edge and pull their uh, relationship in closer. Um, the other, the con, I guess, would be the fact that in the book, Beth kind of hits rock bottom and calls Jolene because she realizes she's burned all her other bridges with with uh, Harry Beltic and with uh, Benny because uh, she pretty much uh, Benny pretty much told her off after she gave the money back uh, for to her travel to Russia uh, and told her never call him again so and in the, in the book she breaks down and realizes she's got to get clean so she calls Jolene um, and kind of invites her, uh, tracks her down, invites her to dinner um, and kind of explains the situation to her and helps her, Jolene realizes how close to the edge she is and kind of helps her detox and work out and prepare mentally and physically. Um, and so I really enjoyed that because that better symbolized Beth realizing she hit rock bottom on her own uh, in the series um, she is in the middle of a bender and Jolene just kind of shows up because Mr. Shago, uh passes away um, and she shows up at her house out of nowhere and uh, I st I was still beautifully done I just think it was a more powerful uh, message and uh, helped the, the story of a young prodigy young woman overcoming uh, her demons uh, in the book I thought it was better um, another thing is I always pay attention to the soundtrack and uh, in movies and series and shows and I thought the U.S. Championships in 1967 uh, between her and Benny when they played classical gas. I just thought that was brilliant. Uh, it helped um, with with the with the uh, kind of feed the tension between her and Benny, and kind of it was a you know a rolling tune if you've ever heard it, like the old uh, Waylon Jennings kind of underlying uh, beat, bait, bass, uh, the rolling kind of tune has that same effect, and I think it helped add to the tension, um, and I, I think that Benny was probably her, the one that understood her the most, uh, and was probably, he was not afraid to stand up to her, and he was um, probably clo the closest thing she had to a uh, competitive equal uh, in the show, and I thought that was really, really well done. Um, plus, I like Benny's hat. I have one 
uh, like it. Um, so I enjoy that. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I, I mean, overall, I I give the uh, show the series five stars, uh, maybe four and a half, uh, because of those two areas. Um, I really loved it. Uh, I did not know until afterward that the same uh, producer, director, whatever, that did The Queen's Gambit was the same guy that did Godless, which was a uh, Western miniseries, epic, whatever you want to call it, on on um, Netflix a few years ago with Jeff Daniels, where he played a, a just a horrible, evil role, uh, but he played it brilliant. It was a Civil War uh, general, I think. Um, I think he was a general uh, that had lost his hand, and he was just a brutal, brutal. Uh, man, and it was a brutal series, a great story, and the guy that did The Queen's Gambit was the same guy that did that, and, uh, I just, I think it was, it was really, really well done on both of them, so if you haven't watched Godless on Netflix, I suggest you do that, because it's, it's amazing, um, anyway, that is the video for today, I'm gonna enjoy my beer, and, uh, watch a movie or continue working on my own chess game uh, and I'll see you guys next time later booktube